holding the employees accountable. That's what this video is going to be about, guys. You don't want to miss this one. I hit you with a double whammy. Got you another video in the same night, guys. Um, so kick back, relax, and let's go ahead and get right into it. Just to break this thing down, I've been working since I was 15 years old. I am close to 40 right now. <laughs> so um, I've been working for a very, very long time, guys. And the way my parents raised me and everything, and me having a mindset, even as a young man, that I wanted to have money to be able to do things. I wanna have money just in case something go wrong. I would have money, I don't have to ask. You know, I never was big on asking people for money or borrowing money or anything like that. I was always the type of person, very prideful in that manner. I wanted to go out and make my own money and do my own thing and don't have to ask anybody for anything. And I pride myself on that, guys. Um, and when I used to work for other people, I was such a workaholic, guys. It don't matter if I was sick, I could be injured, or anything, guys. I would still make my way to work, guys, because financially, I needed the money. And number two, there's no excuses when you get paid and your check is short. You have to remember, you called out off of uh, foolishness. And a lot of times, this new generation, they call out for the most simple things you know those guys rather go party than work you know they favorite singer come in town they make up an excuse to miss work guys you know what i'm talking about anyways guys holding people accountable never was the one to call out or make excuses or whatever you know i have a large family and I always had a lot of responsibilities and everything so guys the same thing I did is what I expect from others. You know, as a business owner, I'm cutting the checks. I'm putting you on the schedule. I'm giving you 40 hours. I'm giving you 50 hours or whatever. Um, I expect the same respect. So, a lot of times, this is how you see who you can trust or not. You have guys who call out. My guys already know. If you call out, I need some kind of documentation or whatever the case may be uh, because I don't heard it all. One person have like six grandmothers. My grandmother died. A month later, my grandmother died. A month later, my grandma died. Family emergency. I have to fly out of state. I got into a car wreck. This, that, and the other. Guys, I have heard it all. And when you ask them for proof, you ask them for documentation, okay? You went to the hospital, you got into a car wreck, okay, I need some documentation so you can return to work. A lot of times they go ghost. Guys, I have lost a handful of people just from that. You ask them for documentation so they can return to work, so you can put it in a file, and you never hear from them again. Guys, it's time out for believing everything these guys say. Because I'm big on learning patterns. I learn the patterns of these guys. You know, they call out on certain days, certain times of the month and stuff like that. So I'm big on patterns. So when they start doing that, again, I'm asking for documentation. Okay, you had a death in the family. I need something. You fell down the stairs and broke your neck. Okay, I need something. You got in the car wreck? Okay, cool. I need something. Try it. Ask those guys to show you documentation. I guarantee you they go ghost on you or they have some kind of excuses. But again, guys, it's time out for that. I'm going through that right now. I have a person who missed one day this week already and then magically, you know, got into an accident the next day. Pretty much wanting the weekend off. So you fabricate a story. I asked for documentation. Haven't heard anything since. Guys, 
I hope none of you guys is doing that. Be true to yourself. Be true to your employers. And uh, business owners out there, it's time for us to step up. We can't keep letting these people play us and do this to us. If you sick, documentation. No documentation, then it depends. It's up to you how you do it. You know, do is it a write up? Is it a suspension? Is it a you know termination? That's your policy with your company or whatever. But you can't let that stuff slide, guys, because there's too many people doing that. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.